tasty. I guess so, if they eat them all. That looks perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. First try, too. Winner. I have no clue. This is magical.
on the March 28th. It's just going to cover uh, only up to chapter 5, not through chapter 6. So next on Wednesday, <laughs> we'll still do chapter 6, so don't get too Damn. excited. Damn. Uh, we just won't do it until after that test. So Wednesday, I'll have an updated timeline sheet so you guys can see it. Okay. And the test is just going to cover from the last test. To yeah, the from like, I think it was 3 5, because we, we did functions after the first test, up through 5 8 is my goal for the next test. Is everyone with me on that? Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. uh, any other questions from homework? Yes. Yeah. Number six, chapter four one.
three twos. Exactly. <laughs> see, so you turned it around. <laughs> well, when I see two problems, I think, okay, I got to solve X for one and Y for the other one. For some no, reason. no, 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 no. You got to look at it. When they say solve this graphically, you, each one of these is in, in its own right a line. And you got to graph each one. What's the quickest way to graph the line? Solve it for Y so you can see the the uh, slope and the Y itself. So you have right. to use this form. Now, Tim, to tell you honestly, to tell you honestly, there's nothing wrong with what you just did. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. As long as you realize if you solve for X, this slope is going to be run over a rise now because you turn it around. Yeah. And this is not going to be the Y intercept, it's going to be the X intercept for you. It would still work. It would still work beautifully because it really shouldn't matter. But why confuse the issue right now? Let's just stick with Y equals MX plus B and not X equals MY plus B. Let's not do that. Do you guys, hopefully you guys understand. There's a lot more flexibility here than you think. This Y equals MX plus B was not handed down to us by aliens. They're not going to come out and kill us if we don't use it. <laughs> we could use it if we want to or not. You guys are learning it right now, so you want to stick with that. But when you get more comfortable, there's a hell of a lot more flexibility than this. It's just that this is uh, conventionally decided to do it this way, and it's the quickest way to get the ideas out there. Right? Once you get the idea, you could do it whatever the hell way works legally. So that way would work beautifully. Okay. Just to so understand why it works. So this whole chapter will be solving for why? Basically, yeah, for the most part. I mean this whole section anyways. Yeah, no. for the most part. Okay. Uh, really? When so you're doing graphically, definitely. Right. Now when you start doing substitution, I think you're getting confused with substitution method, then you solve for whatever letter is easiest. Because yeah. at that point, are you going to use this? No. I just want to use one letter and plug it in to the other equation. Right? Yeah. Then it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. You know how you're just doing it with the slopes that you have, but you don't have the white intercept? What I did, I did a little <coughs> How do you know where to start? Like, on well, the first one? To, yes, on the first one. Because what's understood to be there if there's it's nothing zero. there? Zero. I, I know, it's zero. There you go, but so then it's zero. You're, you're, so that's where you start and then you go to? Yes, three, definitely. Because <coughs> why did I start here? The origin, why did I start here and count down one over three? Because that's the intercept. No, not that I understood. I understood that one. But it's the same thing. Okay. There's a plus zero there. Why don't we write like plus that. zero there? Because, okay. you know, I don't need to. I know yeah. that plus zero is itself. Okay. I mean, I figured out a different way, but I... No, no, it still works if you make a table, but I really want you to understand it. There's sort of like I if see, I put uh, what you mean. Yes, I y equals to x yeah. minus 7, okay. what's the slope in this one? The slope is 1, 1. Yeah, there's nothing there. How do you know? Because it's an understood 1. So what's here is the understood plus 0. Yes, okay. Cool. Thank you. 15, please. Yeah. 15. 15 here? Yeah. Uh, uh, I like 15. 15, the funny thing about 15, if there can't be a funny thing about a math problem, the same section, right? Yeah, the same Next section. Next page. Do you guys notice something about these two equations? They're really the same. I mean, if you solve for y, if you solve for y, just to kind of cut to the chase here, if you solve for y, you're going to get 3 halves x minus three here, and here you're going to get, currently enough, the same thing. So if you do solve for y, you're going to get the same thing. But do you guys see if you double this equation, what do you get? Yeah. Don't you get that one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So doesn't, isn't this one twice that one? Isn't this yeah. one dependent on that one? Mm -hmm. Right? This one is dependent on that one because it's twice that one. That's why they call it a dependent system of equations. The name is not important. What's the answer to a system of equations again? It's always where what? The lines cross. Where the lines cross. That's yes. simple, right? Yeah. Because it's going to be the one point that works on both lines. Mm -hmm. But if the lines lie on top of each other, how often do they intersect then? The entire time. Mm -hmm. The whole damn time, right? Do you guys see that? Number one, if you solve for y, you get that. You can do it. Right, you solve for y, you get that. Oh, you don't like that. Okay. Uh, 3x, if I add 2y, subtract 6, then divide by 2, I get that. Yeah. Right? I mean, don't, don't stare at it. Try it. You, you can do it. You can solve for y. If you do, you get that. If you solve this for y, you get the same damn thing. Mm -hmm. Right there, you could say the answer is going to be an infinite number of solutions. But more specifically, where do they meet? Here's minus 3. 
The slope says to go. City. 